Hey guys, Mindset here, day two. Um, so today has been fairly busy. I've already been to Ikea, to a couple of stores. Uh, we went over to Carter's for the kids. Uh, you can even probably hear my young, my second to youngest, my oldest, second to youngest, same thing, um, playing in the background. But today, uh, we went to Ikea so I could get the wife a new desk. Uh, I'm working on her setup. You know, many of you have seen mine. It's totally trashed right now. Um, which I'm actually gonna give you a real quick peek on totally trashed but um, The reason it's trashed is because I'm working on her space So what does that mean? Well, I'm going to be building her whole desk here And I'm also going to be putting the computer up and rewiring everything so that it's super clean like I make mine um, She needed her own space uh, instead of using mine all the time. So that's the plan so what you're about to see is going to start to fast forward real fast as I build a desk. Uh, hopefully I don't have to get stopped midway, but here we go. So I started working. Both of my drills are dead. Wonder how that could happen. It's not me. I didn't do it. Wonder who could have not charged them when they put them back. Hmm. Give you a couple guesses. You don't need them. So now I gotta find a charger. So hope that I can use the charger while I drill. I'll be back. <clears throat> Remember that if I don't get interrupted thing? Yeah, step one, interruption. My youngest wants chocolate ice cream. I think it's a good time for that. We'll be back. Let's get back to the party. So, I'm upstairs to get ice cream, wife vetoed it, which means he gets veggie straws, which are all natural something. Okay, so moving on. Um, I've got maybe another 10 minutes before the wife said we're going to start making dinner. So, I'm going to start flowing this out. Now, I want you guys to, to know a couple things. One, I'm <clears throat> kind of OCD when it comes to my setup. So certain things have to be in certain places. I showed you the image earlier of how dirty it was. Well, it's dirty because, and messy I should say, because of how much stuff I've been getting ready for Combo Breaker. And I want to make it so that everything down here is like, you don't see the wires. So like, as you guys can see behind my setup, which you can probably see pretty well, there's nothing really on the floor. Like you see the wires right now, but there's really no wires on the floor, and that's because I hide them up in there. So we have the Signum rack from Ikea, which I think is absolutely awesome. And that's gonna go underneath her desk to help hide all of these wires. When I'm done, I'm gonna have everything all cleaned up and we're gonna show you, this. that might be a video or two from now, 
Uh, I'm not sure which yet. Um, but we're getting there. You know, we got bits and pieces put together. Got to clean up all these wires, get them hung up, uh, and get stuff going like that. But I think we're going to have to do this in segments today. Uh, which will all be in one video, but still segments. Um, after that, I'm going to figure something out to do with that mouse and keyboard thing. I don't like how the wires are there. I might drill through the table. We'll see. So, I'm going to clean up this computer a little bit. We're going to get all the wires laid out. So, <clears throat> to me, when it comes to wire management, which is like one of my big things for computers, is that you lay everything out first and you get all the wires kind of put in your concept of where they're going to go and how you need them for the actual setup because you have sometimes limitations of how far things can go and then you kind of work around them and then you start putting the wires up um, based on how much distance you have for the actual wire so you're, everything's going to be messy at first and then we're going to get all cleaned up uh, I also want to say that I've changed cameras I saw the, the video yeah Found Shark. Bonus points. Mr. Shark, let's go upstairs. One shark. Back to the setup. Alright, so this is super frustrating. Um, set everything up, came downstairs, ran the camera for about the last 30 minutes file corrupted. So I finished the setup, but the file corrupted. So, but I did get the opportunity to get the other videos that I had earlier done. So I know that the quality on this is way better than the other camera. So that's a plus. We gotta look at the bright side, right? Okay. So I did finish my wife's setup. We're gonna give you a quick look down. So what did we do? Finished up the top here. Got that loving fish. It's freaking super cool in my opinion. Um, and then as I said before, I always want to make it so there's no cables underneath. Like you can see the ones up there in the rack, but nothing here on the ground. That's the key. That's the key to a great setup, guys. Like that to me it is the end all be all. I still think I'm gonna drill some holes in the desk. I really want the ability to look, make it look completely like wireless for the most part. Um, and I figured, since I had finished hers, I was obviously going to clean up mine, and I wanted to show you guys how mine looks for the most part. There's a couple wires here right now that I have to clean up still, but you're gonna you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So as of right now, you know we have the Xbox, we have the PlayStation printer, all that fun stuff, the monitors, the mic. Uh, I always use a wireless keyboard and mouse because I hate wires, but underneath, as you can see, very few wires on the ground. Everything is up tacked in, hooked up with uh, with Velcro, all that kind of crazy stuff. So we got that all finished finally, and we're looking all crispy again. Now, something most of you guys haven't seen is my rug. Um, you guys don't get to see that in the uh, in the streams or anything, and that thing that is one of my favorite things that I have. Um, Mindset Foosball, which is who I am. Foosball guy. Uh, Alright, so that's going to be wrapping up the vlog for the most part for today. It was more or less like a, me just hanging out, BSing with you guys. But uh, I'm still trying to get the hang of this, so I do appreciate it. If you would guys leave comments below. Uh, I was able to take a look at some of the stuff. Like I said, I know this camera is a lot better. So we're going to be proceeding with this one, assuming it doesn't keep corrupting. Because that is super freaking annoying. Um, but... So, for the rest of this week, what do we have planned? So, we're not doing the CR tournament this week. We've got Monday, I'm going to be pretty busy, which is going to be crazy. I uh, have to go get an admissions test done, have a bunch of other crazy things done. And then Tuesday is going to be kind of a normal day. Wednesday is going to be ESL. Um, mentioning ESL, I think more, ma more matches for ESL need to be streamed. Like, somebody needs to step up and stream all of those hype matches. You know, today's the, really the first day that I've seen it online for people trying to get into the top eight. Rio and uh, Pig of the Hut did a great job of setting up streams for matches. I am super happy that they did that. Thank you guys, really appreciate it if you're watching this. But uh, I think this should be do, done every week. I think people should be 
dedicated streaming those matches. That would be amazing. That's like the one thing MKX doesn't have right now. And because they were streaming that, they got so many viewers. It was awesome. Um, I wish I could do it. I just don't have the time, guys. I'm sorry. But, uh, so let's see here. So, what does that bring us to? So, Wednesday's ESL, top eight. That's going to tell us there's so many things. Oh, my God. So many things that are going to be awesome about that. So, if Hayate... So, if Sonic Fox shows up and doesn't have to... Gra well, he's got to graduate. But if he gets there... If he gets back in time and has to play Hayate, if Hayate wins, he's in. He is in for ESL finals. If he loses, okay... He is then in a three-way tie with CR Wound Cowboy and Noble's Toxin. That means those three guys are going to have to play it out for that sixth spot. But there's a catch. There are two more guys in the field that have an opportunity. Noble Jupiter and also uh, Exile's Aura. If either of those guys get second place or better, they get that spot. So, my brain just exploded. So there's a lot of different things that could happen. And even if Hayate doesn't win that match and either of those guys get top two, they're in. And then the other guys still have to figure, still have to play for that match to see if they're going to ESL Season Finals. Oh my god, it's crazy. So exciting, super fun. Um, but that is going to wrap up the stream for, or not the stream. Whoa. That is going to wrap up this vlog for today, guys. I'm going to see you back tomorrow. Right around the same time, I'm going to be trying to post these at about 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. So please come back. Give us a comment, like I said. Let us know if you like these vlogs. We are going to keep going until Combo Breaker and through Combo Breaker so you can guys can get enjoy all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, oh, I totally forgot about Thursday. Thursday, I'm picking up Noble's Maze at the airport. Picking up Noble Maze. That's going to be freaking awesome. He's a good buddy of mine, so we're really looking forward to that. Uh, like I said guys, comments below, holla, mindset out.